Hey guys, today's video is about how to be quicker through applying such a small change, but you'll be able to find about two seconds each lap. But before we do, make sure you get subscribed to the channel. It's a good channel and there's no other channels like this out there that go into the detail that I do, so make sure you do it. Uh, so basically, all you have to do is go to your advanced settings, change your clutch to manual. Now, a lot of people will have manual transmission with a gearbox type, but they won't have manual clutch. I don't know why, but it's basically every other person I come up against will have automatic clutch. So this first lap is an example of me using an automatic clutch. Now, if you listen out for the gear changes when shifting up and shifting down, you'll hear that there's a minor pause. There's not an instant gear change like a sequential dog box should have. It's the type of gearbox that allows for basically instant gear change and like they expect these type of cars to have um, and it's completely legit so you don't have to worry about you know exploits or anything like that it's completely legit in the game uh, the best way to compare this is like how in Forza Motorsport how people tend to shift with the clutch um, on completely manual as well it's basically the same but you don't even have to engage the clutch in this game you can kind of just press the bumpers basically L1 L or R1 and LB and RB to shift um if you ever played forza you'll get what i'm on about with that it's it's just instant gear changes uh kind of like how gt3 cars have on that game so as i said this lap is with automatic clutch and the next lap as you'll see further on in the video is a manual clutch so coming through the last corner before the back straight took it well and the car of choice today is the eleganto also known as the well in real life the Lexus RCF and it's a great car, it's probably one of the quickest cars for its class, 110% that's still drivable <laughs> because a lot of the cars in this game just don't have downfalls for some reason but this car is excellent for what it is and it's quite underrated, I don't see a lot of people use it. So both laps are about the same but whilst this video isn't the most scientific you can still see the difference and you can suggest a lot from the evidence that is gathered from it that it's definitely quicker to use manual clutch um, and literally as I said James about two seconds off so crossing the line uh, we'll see that we end up finishing with a 1 minute 53.119 so that's not a bad time it's about 8 seconds slower than my NSX time so quite a bit back but you'll see how much time I'm able to shave off by basically just doing that straight to manual uh, so back out on the track you'll see now the difference and listen out for the difference too you'll be able to hear that the gears are literally instantaneous there's no delay it's literally like bang each time i change up into gear and vice versa for shifting down and i like this thing because it allows for a lot of different cars to be used in this game whilst the cars in this game aren't too bad to be used for racing but it's still quite linear in your car choice for it to be competitive for example there's quite a lot of cars that i'd like to use but i just can't use them because they're not quick enough uh compared to what most people bring to milton drive so this car is fine anyway without it but it just gives it that more competitive edge and you'll find that a lot of people in the community as i've said just don't do this method for some reason i've probably found about three other people that do it in my time of playing this game and i've got about 550 hours as of today in this game and most of it is kind of just been doing this so it's about 340 hours or maybe 400 hours of constant racing but you can see how much i've pulled ahead from the ghost i've pulled ahead by quite a bit as i said both laps are laps are about the same they both look fine each corner is about the same but the difference is is that acceleration it's the fact that i'm able to accelerate so much more quicker after each gear change that is what to the side and factor and you can really see it on the straight as i'm pulling away from the ghost behind me uh, and if you compare the two clips yourself if you go back to the first lap 180 179 miles an hour i was up the hill where it held that was 182 on that lap there so you can measure it you can definitely compare each clip this is definitely a quicker clip it's probably about four five miles an hour quicker Per lap on average which adds, that adds up quite a bit significant a lot uh significant a lot doesn't make sense but make sure you're subscribed anyway uh before i show you the results but yeah so 
I'll show you the results. You will see now 1 minute 51.739. Excellent. Two seconds faster, more or less, anyway. So that concludes it for today. Make sure to subscribe and bye.